Mission of Santa Cruz. This Minecraft model is on the Mission of Santa Cruz by Malia Tai. The Mission of Santa Cruz was a Spanish mission founded on August 28, 1971 by Father Berman Francisco de Lasu. San, San, Santa Cruz means Holy Cross in Spanish and is the 12th of 21 missions of California mission chain. It is located near the mouth of the San Lorenzo River and Monterey Bay. The site was chosen for its good soil for farming. The mission of Santa Cruz was built mostly by neophytes and natives from the Ohlone and Eurocup tribes. The mission is 112 feet long, 20 feet wide, and 25 feet high. The walls of the mission were five feet thick, made out of adobe bricks, which is made with water, mud, and straw. The roof was held up by redwood beams, and the roof was originally made of thatch, but is now covered with tiles. The tallest part of the Santa Cruz mission is the bell tower. The original bell tower collapsed in 1840, and it had nine or ten bells. Now it just has a 20th century replica hanging in the tower. Through the main doors, under the bell tower was the baptistry, where the fountain is located for baptisms. An interesting fact is that the remains of Gladys S. Doyle who funded building the church replica is buried in the baptistry. In the back of the church above the front door is the balcony for the choir. While walking through the church, you can see paintings of saints on the wall. There is even an oil painting of the Virgin de Guadalupe from 1797. Behind the altar are three statues of, this, of saints from the Bible. The words over the arch in front of the altar are in Latin and mean, We adore you, Christ, and we bless you because through your cross you have redeemed the world. The next door. next to the church is the room where the Padres or priests live. The Padres were the teachers for the neophytes and Indians. They were in charge of the missions and the and the Padres home had little furniture. However, they had lots of books so they could teach the neophytes about Christianity. Outside, outside, close to the mission was, each mission had a courtyard in the center, which was surrounded by walls. The stone fountain that is now in the center of the patio is from the original mission complex. Outside and close to the mission was the Neophytes' house, where the Native Americans and their families lived. The Native Americans were awakened at sunrise by the bells from the bell tower, calling them to church. After that, their work day began. The women spent, spun thread, wove blankets, and cooked, while the men and older boys worked in the workshop as blacksmiths and constructed buildings or worked harvesting the gardens. All the children attended school where the Padres taught. The fertile soil 
made it easy for the gardens to grow. They grew wheat, grain, and corn. They also had vineyards which produced wine for the church. The mission also had stables that held sheep, cattle, horses, and chickens. Water was supplied by the San Lorenzo River and springs that were located throughout the property. To the east of the mission, they had a cemetery. where the Padres and people who lived and worked on the mission were buried. The mission is not only known as the Mission of Santa Cruz, it was also given the nickname the Hard Luck Mission because of its troubled history. It once flooded due to heavy rain and was forced to relocate. It was looted in 1818 due to the pirate raid in 1840. An earthquake knocked down the mission buildings and the bell tower, and another earthquake destroyed the church in 1857. There was even a Suspicious death of one of the Padres, which led to the very first autopsy in a mission in California. I had a lot of fun learning about learning about the Santa Cruz mission, and I hope I can visit it one day. Thank you for watching.